Okay everybody, this is Jackson back again. What you see here, I got another little project. Okay, I'm going to take this bulb that I had made that's out of the old bug zapper. I got a video up on YouTube right now that I turned into a house light. It's going to be an inside an indoor light and I had some LEDs hooked up, a little circuitry. Check it out. Uh, check my videos out and you'll find it there. What I made, turned it into, I used one of these, blah blah blah. You'll see it in the video. Okay, now I'm going to take this, set it to the side because I'm going to use it for a future project as I do everything else. I'm going to make this, what I took out of here, which is a CFL light bulb, energy efficient. Okay, there's a little hookups for the four pins that you see right here. Okay, I'm going to use this as a new base, which this is going to go in here, just like this, and I'm epoxy it in there, after I get the, the connection hooked up to it. Okay, I'm going to take this, let's see, I got my holes marked, this is going to be my new pins, just like you see right here, there's going to be four of them, right there, I put paint on the end of them set it down here to make my little marks I'm gonna drill the holes in quite smaller than as you see this right here just so to fit in nicely I'm gonna use epoxy to epoxy them in you know I'm not gonna use hot glue this time because that ball might get hot or a little warm and melt the glue I'm gonna use epoxy to put this in there as well and so you have it and I'm gonna show you after I get it hooked up, it's pretty basic. It, it, there's no need to tell you how it's going to be. You know, hook a pin, two pins. These wires go to two pins. These wires go to two pins on the same side, obviously. Okay, so when I come, when I get done with it, I'll come back and show you the update and plug it in, show you that it works. Alright, peace hey, out. everybody, I'm here to give you just a tad bit of an information or a little update. Okay, these are going to be my new connection pins that hooks up into the light. You know, that makes it come on. These like so. I'm going to take these pins, which are going to replace these right here. Which is going to be for this new light bulb right here that I'm going to put on there. Okay, these pins are going to go through these holes I have drilled. After I get them through there and sit it to where I want it, want I'm gonna take this like my epoxy little mixture and I'm gonna epoxy them in then I am going to before I epoxy them in actually I'm gonna put these heat shrink tubes over right here you know just to give it a little bit more added protection you know what I'm saying the epoxy will do but I want this on there as added protection so and I'm going to take these wires and wrap them around the end of these wires right here. I'm going to clip them down here so far. And I'm going to take these wires right here and wrap them all the way around. Okay. Solder them on. And then heat shrink them on there. Then I'm going to fold them up inside as I put the light down. That way none of the wires will touch and be all protected and then I'm going to epoxy this onto here and that way it'll go up into the light so when I get done I'll come back and I'll show you alright everybody this is Jason back again I just wanted to show you this little update before I plug it in again I had to do a minor adjustment okay as you see right here the wires that comes out of the light bulb I put shrink tube all the way down as far as I can get it okay you see that right there. You gotta put the shrink tube all the way, the smallest shrink tube all the way down as far as you can get it. Try not to break the little wires though. They are pretty, they're strong but they're delicate. Okay, shrink tube down there as I said. Okay, and that's starting to come off. But this gonna be no problem to me. Because I'm gonna fill it with hot glue. And hopefully this should be alright. And I don't think the ball will get too hot. So, 
Because it ain't going to be on long. It ain't going to be something that's going to be on hours on end or whatever. So, I think it'll be just fine. I'm going to twist these wires in carefully. As you see, I'm going to twist them in carefully so it don't break or twist it up or what have you. But I had to put solder on my wires a little bit up here to make them a little bit wider because they, they was fitting but they didn't grip in like they're supposed to. But again, I'll show you the update. Yeah, you see Walgreens? Thank you Walgreens for your caps. But uh, yeah, I'll come back with the update as I plug it in and show you what is going on. Peace hey. out. Shot a whole bunch of hot glue up in there. Push the wires up in there, as you can see. And of course, the hot gets pretty. The cap gets pretty hot. And I adjusted it. I put these inside of the the plug just so they'll stay, you know, get perfectly where I want them. And, and if they don't get perfect, well, when you go to put it in, it'll kind of give way inside of the hot glue just a little bit. And you put a rubber band around here, so you to hold it in. To hold the cap on. Yeah, that's gonna work out pretty good, people. I'm gonna put this in the freezer for a little bit so the hot glue will sit up. Alright. So as I wait for it to cool down, I'm gonna put some hot more hot glue around the edges of the outside and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Alright, cool. alright everybody. Here's my finished product. Doesn't look too shabby. I cut some of the hot glue off because it was all beaded up, but hey, nobody's going to see the light bulb anyway for real, are they? Well, as I know, it's going to work. I hope. What y'all think? It's kind of crude, huh? Want a medicine bottle cap? <laughs> Pimping. Anyway, there's the plugs right there. You see this? You see it? Yes. I bet you I'm the first one who made this shit. This is all me, baby. Alright. Now I'm going to plug this thing in to the old bug zapper lamp that I restored. I'm going to show you a little something proper. Alright, here we go. Remember this? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Right now, it doesn't have a light on it. Because as you see... It goes up there with a little silver thing in the middle. Now check this out. This is what I made. Bing, bing, bing. It's LEDs. LEDs. Yes, sir. Alright. Here we go. We're ready to turn this off. Unplug it, of course. Safety first. And plug it back in and see what happens, people. Unplug it. I'm going to plug this in. Let's see if I can get in there. Get you a nice little view. Nah, it ain't going to zoom into that. Let me see if I can get it in here. Here we go. There we go. Alright. Let me see which way I want to do it. Plug it in like so. Kind of wedge it up in there. Yeah, y'all see that going in. I'm not going to plug it in all the way right now just to show y'all. Okay, let it turn on. Let their. Oh, shit. Go figure. I forgot to plug it in. <laughs> That's just crazy. I ain't never did that one, but I'm going to leave this one on the video today. Give y'all a little something to look at and laugh at. You hear me? Alright. One, two, three. Let there be light. Looks nice, don't it? Y'all didn't think that shit was going to work, huh? But you know what? The same circuit that came out of that light bulb is what's up here running it. It's inside of the inside up here. I originally was going to run the same tube that came in the bug zapper, but it took away from my LEDs. 
and it had like a ultraviolet or a bluish color glow so I didn't want that and I couldn't initially I couldn't find no uh, warm white or cool white you know light and so after I started I uh, had the idea of making this then I have found them in here but seven dollars to twenty dollars for something like this nah I'd rather pay a dollar ninety nine or ninety nine cents and convert it over and be the same damn thing you hear me saving money but as you see it's on see the LEDs it doesn't take away from the LEDs it's a nice color and I don't think it's too hot yeah it's only 15 watts people see it look it's nice it's warm but turn it off turn it on the camera's a little late catching it Now I'm going to unplug it, but y'all know it's still the same bulb that I put in there. You see it. It's right there. I'm going to see if I can get a glow. hope it don't hurt the camera lens or hurt your eyes. Here we go. Looks pretty good, don't it? Peace out. You got some comments, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Tell me what you think of my little light that I got here. I've got a video of it. Check them out. Alright, peace out. Y'all have a good one.